Well, one of the nine people lost in the helicopter crash that killed Kobe Bryant once coached in Massachusetts. John Altabelli managed the Brewster Whitecaps of the Cape Cod Baseball League. Now, Altabelli's wife and daughter were also killed in the crash. WBZ's Lisa Greshi shows us how Altabelli is being remembered on the Cape. The home of the Brewster Whitecaps, the year filled with lasting memories of former coach John Altabelli, some of them printed in the 2013 season yearbook. He really knew baseball. I mean, he was a really smart baseball guy. Altabelli, his wife Carrie, and teenage daughter Alyssa were killed in Sunday's California helicopter crash that also took the lives of NBA legend Kobe Bryant, his 13-year-old daughter Gianna, and four others. You hate to think that life can be that fragile, uh, and yet. Tragedies like this remind us that it is. Altabelli was with the Whitecaps from 2011 to 2014 and didn't take long to feel his presence throughout the league. John stood out like a million dollar bill. One of the things that sticks out most about Coach Altabelli is the impact he had on each and every player on and off the field. You could see he was a true baseball person uh, and he really was his biggest concern was the development of the ball players. Altabelli's first year as head coach, not one player left. And that's really a credit to the environment that John created as a head coach and that people wanted to stay and keep playing hard and be a part of things. Maybe the most cherished moments, the time he spent with his own children at Stony Brook Field, and this picture with his daughter, and the 2011 summer he was assistant coach to his son, who is now a scout for the Red Sox. Uh, you could just see the joy he had as a dad and being able to share that time with his son that summer. When those who knew him look out onto this field, they'll always see Coach Altabelli. Because that's what he did. That's the whole persona that he presented to everyone on the Cape. Reporting Brewster, Lisa Greshi, WBZ News.